Hi, I'm Daniel Recknitzer and welcome to the Intuition Wisdom Channel. You know, every day we're helping liberate people from the rat race, helping them to become self-mastered and to live their life purpose, you know, to really make a difference to themselves and the planet. Now, if you're ready to change your life and step into your power and access that limitless intuition, then you've come to the right place. So today I wanna to share with you some golden highlights from my feature videos. And once you've checked this one out, remember to look at the description for more videos just like this one. All right, let's dive in. So anyone here ever had food poisoning? Anyone had food poisoning? What happens? What does your body wanna do? Grow up, right? Now, when you ingest a toxic thought, such as I'm not wanted, I'm not okay, I'm already a sin. Anyone born in religious families? I'm born of sin, anyone had that when they were little? If you were raised with any of these non-truths, the body's like, Ugh, get this out. This is not my truth. It wants to vomit it up. The way it vomits up these non-truths is an illness, a disease, an ache, a pain, an arthritis, a cancer. The longer we believe these non-truths, the more the body cringes and says, I can't survive like this. You need to heal them. So the illness is a beautiful, it's gonna sound strange, let me just prepare you. The illness is this amazing gift of awareness that you are carrying a non-truth within your body. Within your subconscious awareness, there is a non-truth. And the longer we carry these non-truths, the more the body arcs up. Does that make sense? Yes. Some of you is nodding, some of you not so sure whether you're nodding. I can't really tell. All right. I know it makes sense, so I'll, I'll keep going. <laughs> so, we have this system that reflects a symptom, an illness, is not the cause. We need to get to the cause. What's missing with the experts in the world is they're tackling the symptom, not the cause. You go to a doctor, you go to an expert, I've got psoriasis, I've got Crohn's, I've got cancer. You know where they look? In your body. The illness doesn't exist in your body. That's why they're not finding the cure. The cure exists. The illness exists in here. You want to heal the body, you have to heal the mind. The body is a reflection of the mind. But you know what the body really wants to be a reflection of? Your truth. Your soul, your spirit, consciousness. Your higher awareness. The body has been designed to reflect that. But what's happening is, all these layer upon layer of these beliefs that I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I'm not loved, I'm a failure, I'm a disappointment, are covering, eclipsing this truth. The truth is, we are powerful and infinite beyond our comprehension. And that's what the body wants to reflect. Every time we go into self-doubt, the body weakens. Carrying the self-doubt carrying these non-truths age the body. We are aging rapidly because we are lugging all these non-truths from the time we were born, many of them. Now, let me just share some of these experiences. We had a gentleman with Crohn's disease, as I mentioned. Now, when we tapped into what is at the root cause of his Crohn's disease, he was carrying, I'm just reconnecting to him now, so I remember, I can't get anything right. I can't get anything right. Anyone feel that within themselves? Anyone have that going on? No matter what decision you make, you can't pick the right decision. When we were able to shift the belief system that I can't get anything right, his Crohn's disappeared. No more Crohn's. The Crohn's was a name for, in his body, I can't get anything right belief. We had a guy with HIV. He no longer has HIV. Within two months, no longer HIV. At the heart of his belief system of HIV, 
was, I'm a complete outcast. The manifestation of I'm a complete outcast is the energy of HIV in the body. Every illness, every symptom is a reflection of a very particular belief system. And until we shift those belief systems, until we access the truth, the body's going to continue to show up that what you believe about yourself, that what you're believing about this reality, isn't the truth. Now, many people say, but what about hereditary? What about genes and so on and so forth? Most of these symptoms that appear to be hereditary are actually just beliefs passed from generation to generation to generation. When I was growing up, we used to go out to dinner to the Jewish holidays. My uncle would continually say the same thing. Somebody tried to kill us. We survived. Let's eat. That's what was happening every time he went to the sea. The belief system as a Jew that we're hated gets passed down and passed down. Is this too confronting? Why are people leaving? Not many people are ready for truth. Yep. So we pass beliefs down from our kids to their kids and so on. So we all experience the same symptoms in the body. And we think it's hereditary. And therefore we think it's incurable. But when we change the beliefs, the subconscious mind, the body reflects that. So it begs the question, if we don't know it's there, how do we access it? What is the truth and how do we tap into the truth? Well, this brings up what we're here to teach everyone. It's called universal intelligence. I mentioned earlier that the human body is this sublime genius. Anyone present to that? Anyone ever looked at your body and gone, who thought of that? Right? Amazing. You know, anyone ever looked at nature and marveled at the intelligence in the flowers, in the ecosystems, in the artwork that's in fish and, and wildlife? It's, it's, I don't have words for it. It's beyond words. Yeah. That intelligence we've come to call as universal intelligence. Universal intelligence is the brains, if you like, the genius behind the human body. It's where we've come from. We are part of nature. We're part of that intelligence. As we are part of that intelligence, we too can tap into that intelligence. If you want to know how something works, the best person to ask would be the manufacturer, right? If you want to know how a cell phone works, you can either take it apart or you can go to the manufacturer. Well, so far we've been taking the body apart, but we haven't been going to the manufacturer. Now when you take something apart, especially something that's physical, you miss this huge dimension called the non-physical. And you know what's non-physical? Your thoughts. So when you put the body under a microscope and you try and examine and try and figure out what's the cause of cancer and so on, all you see is a physical reality. But we don't just exist in a physical reality, we exist in a physical and a non-physical reality. So what the experts are missing is a wider enlightened perspective. The enlightened perspective says, hang on, first is the non-physical reality, second is the physical reality. The physical reality is a byproduct of the non-physical reality. And we're trying to get to answers. We can't look at the byproduct. We have to go to the source. Thank you for watching and make sure you give us the thumbs up if you loved it. Now, also, remember to subscribe so we feel supported and we feel encouraged to keep making more videos like this. Now, my best recommendation is for you to check out the links below to find the perfect video for you. Choose whatever resonates. I'm sure you'll love it.